In this video, I'm going to address the question of what sample size requirements are for conducting a multiple regression analysis. This is a question that comes up quite frequently, uh, and I hope to provide an insightful answer to the question that will help you uh, conduct research uh, going forward. So this question uh, is about how many cases you need, and as I mentioned, it's very common. Uh, and there are many different answers to this question. And most people use a rule of thumb. If you read about it, you'll find a lot of rules of thumb. And perhaps the most common rule of thumb is 10 cases for each predictor. So that would mean if you had three independent variables in your multiple regression analysis, you would need 30 cases. That's a very commonly used rule of thumb. Is it accurate? Uh, we shall find out. Uh, at the more extreme ends, you can find people like Nunnally who recommend sample sizes as large as 300 and 400 to conduct a multiple regression analysis. So that's a huge uh, variance in recommendations there. Now to understand uh, a contemporary view on evaluating the question of sample size requirements and multiple regression, you have to understand the two different purposes for conducting a multiple regression and or two key elements oh, and purposes of conducting a multiple regression. So uh, we have the testing the multiple R value for statistical significance. So if you conduct a multiple regression, you will get a multiple R value. Uh, arguably, some people might only be interested in the multiple R value. And so that's one element of the regression analysis and it's one possible purpose of conducting the, the multiple regression, the R value. Now the other element and key purpose of conducting a multiple regression analysis is to examine and test the beta weights for statistical significance. Those are beta weights associated with each of the independent variables. Testing two requires more cases than one. If you are interested in the beta weights you will require a larger sample size than if you are restricted if your interest is restricted to testing the multiple R for statistical significance. In practice, people are interested in two. I've never uh, come across an analysis where only the multiple R value was of interest. People are usually interested in understanding which predictors are statistically significant contributors to the regression equation. Green in 1991 published a paper that uh, advanced a field and it's become uh, a citation classic. Uh, he addressed the question of how many subjects does it take to do a regression analysis and his paper was insightful for a couple of reasons. First, uh, he considered the two purposes of conducting a multiple regression, the multiple R question and the beta weights question, and he also considered statistical power. The question of how many cases you need to conduct a multiple regression analysis is essentially a question of statistical power. The probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is in fact false. So Green actually, with his considerations in mind, uh, statistical power and the two purposes of conducting a multiple regression, came up with essentially some rules of thumb. but he did have some qualifiers. So for a medium effect size of r squared equal 0 0.07, so 7% of the variance in the dependent variable is being accounted for by the independent variables, and the beta weights on average are around 0.2, Green recommended the following for 80% power. If you're interested only in the multiple r squared value, then you should be using this little formula. 50, so that's the rock bottom lowest sample size you can consider for conducting a multiple regression, 50 plus 8 times the number of predictors in the regression analysis. So if you had two predictors, that would be 2 times 8, 16. So you would need 66 as a sample size for conducting the multiple regression if all you're interested in is the multiple R. Now if you conduct the multiple regression because you're interested in evaluating the beta weights, which almost everyone is, it's a larger sample size that you need.
You will need to 